Okay, so inspired by a true story, the movie Color of Love shows what it means to be a family. How do you guys like being here? We like it. Are you sure? We really like it. Are you giving this back? No. Good. I was actually thinking about talking to Stephanie and seeing how we can maybe make it permanent. You want to adopt us? If that works for you. And for you, too. We're good with it, Mom. Are you sure, baby? Here with us from the cast of Color of Love, please welcome Deborah Joy Winans to the show. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> okay, how come, how, how come I can't hear you? Oh, you're mute. I don't know. I love this welcome. Oh, yeah, you love it. Good, because I was like, oh, yes. I was like, why can't I hear you? I thought it was my ear, because <laughs> I have issues all over the place. My eyes, my ears, my everything. All kinds you of are issues. Fabulous. Oh, stop, Deborah Joy Wine. I, I love saying your three names. It's so cool. You don't want to hear my first three names. But by the way, happy early Easter, because this is a great Easter present. No calories, because people are giving chocolates and baskets and stuff, but this is a great way for the family to enjoy Easter Sunday. So talk to us about Color of Love, because it may be titled Color of Love, but it's about breaking all color barriers and not even seeing color at all. Absolutely. It's completely about breaking color barriers. Um, this film, based on a true story, uh, this woman, to me, just exhibited so much strength, uh, so much courage, um, even in the face of her family, the people closest to her, her boyfriend, her mother telling her, no, this is too much trouble. You should do something different. She still stood her ground. She still went with her heart. And what it shows you is that at the end of the day, no matter what, when you persevere with the motive of love, you will always win. Amen, Deborah. Amen. Preach it, preach it, preach it. It's like you were a member of, a, like, a, a church family. I don't know. It's like you know, like, you know how to speak in front of, a, like, a big crowd and I stuff. I mean, or a sermon. kind of crazy. But let me tell you, let me tell you, Deborah. if I had a dollar for every single time I said whatever to you last night watching this movie, I kept saying, I would have $10,000, like 10,000 singles making it rain because I was just like, whatever, Theo, yeah. whatever, Theo. Because, and I love how the character, Miss H, just continues to go forward, like following her heart, which is like a really big lesson for us to learn here. So what was, okay, I'll tell you my, my favorite thing about you taking on this role. You tell okay. me your favorite thing about taking on this role and I'll tell you mine. Okay. Um, I, I love the fact that she's so different. Uh, when this was presented to me, it's written by Tamara Bass, who is a phenomenal writer and director. I met her this past summer when we shot Don't Waste Your Pretty. She was the director. And we just really, you know, when you're linked with somebody, you're just linked. And it was like, oh, we're going to work together again. She wrote this. And uh, when I read it, I just thought, wow, it's so different from what I've done. But I love this story, and I think it's what we need now in 2021. We need to understand the power of love and what that looks like um, and and the, the, the color that it is, which is no color. Exactly. And so um, I think my favorite part was really educating myself and understanding the foster care system. And, I, you know, Sadly, I did not understand how bad yeah. it is and how many kids continue to fall through the cracks. Yeah. And the fact that the system really wanted to put the color of this woman's skin before the needs of these children it broke who my had heart. been abused and, and malnourished and mistreated. It's like, Y'all really care that much that she's black? I know, and Did that's deny them? and that's why I love that he came into the picture. And I also love this because I was plotting to fight you because of charity on Greenleaf, because I was like over it. I was like, I will fight this woman. I don't care if it's a role. And then you play this. I was like, okay, she's not charity. Come, simmer yeah. down. So this is this is why I was happy that you took on this role. Because I was just, I was like, mm -mm, charity. And your dad, your TV dad was on the show, was on our show the other day because he has a new movie called Insight. And you guys are keeping it busy. Even you, because you you mentioned Don't Waste Your Pretty. Ooh, on TV One, Demetria Lucas's yeah. story. That I yeah. love like how you're going, like doing the different range and stuff. And you notice how I said range? Mm-hmm. Did you, were, am Seriously. I supposed to 
Oh. Can I, because your voice is out of this world. Like they said, do not question oh, God. Oh. When someone like you or Beyonce sings, I'm like, God, really? Do they need all of that? If you had given <laughs> me like a, t a teaspoon or a drop, I would be an amazing <laughs> singer and it wouldn't affect their talent. Seriously, <laughs> your voice. And I, and oh, I can't. God. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, singing was never my my first love or my first passion. It's always been acting. Um, but I recognize that if it touches somebody, whatever gift you have, if it touches somebody, that's what it's meant for. It's not meant for you. It's not meant for you to hide. It's meant for you to share and allow other people to be touched and be blessed by it. Oh. So thank you. That means what? a lot. Are you kidding me? We, we've been touched and blessed by your talent, your, your uncle and aunt's talent. And remember the message I, t I gave you for your uncle, right? You're going to give him the message? I, I promise I will give him the message. But, but just say what the message is, because I'm sure he's watching. He watches every morning. He doesn't. Okay, well then, uh, Uncle B, I have to make sure that you remember that when it's time for Born for This to come out on Broadway, she is still ready and available to be an extra. And um, I, the chops are great. They're there. And no. we just want to make sure you don't forget. Oh, you lied to your uncle. The chops are not there with me, but it is with you. And people are going to see it this weekend when they check <laughs> out your movie. Please say hi to your entire family for me. And we cannot wait to see you in person when things get back to normal. You can check out Deborah Joy Winans this Easter Sunday night in Color of Love on Lifetime. We will be right back, people. Love you, Deborah. <laughs>